Hello there and welcome. So for you to fully understand the problem of most laptop batteries, I will explain to you what mostly causes most laptop battery to stop working and how you can solve that okay so you look at this laptop battery right here you see that it has two two cells on three sections then you look right here you will see that this is the circuit of the laptop battery and it has some ICs right here it has some controllers then it has MOSFET transistors so I'm gonna remove this then explain what I'm talking about right here okay so what I want you to understand right here is that all laptop batteries has a circuit and in that circuit the circuit has switches of each section of the cells you understand so on this battery we have the first section right here which has its MOSFET transistor which is this then we have the second cell right here which has its MOSFET transistor which is this right here you see these MOSFET transistors right here they act as a switch on this PCB so the MOSFET transistor has a gateway which takes in the input voltage then it has the source which takes in the signal or the voltage to switch on the voltage that enters the gateway and the voltage goes out to the drain so it has the gate it has the source and the drain okay so so let me explain what I'm talking about right here so on this laptop battery we have the input right here which get into the gate of this MOSFET transistor then the source of this transistor which is supposed to switch on the voltage that is coming in into this transistor to pass out is supposed to come from this cell right here which is coming from this cable right here so this cell gets its source voltage from this cell right here you understand so when the voltage get into the MOSFET transistor when the voltage of this cell gets into the MOSFET of this transistor then the voltage of this cell gets into the source of this MOSFET transistor right here then you get the input voltage of the gate to the drain that will be supplied to any of these ICs or to this battery connector right here so the thing is most laptop batteries stop working because one of these cells is not given the MOSFET transistor the required voltage or is not given the voltage at all so if any of this transistor is getting the voltage from the gate which is the supply voltage quite all right but not getting the source voltage which is supposed to switch on the voltage from the gate to the drain the transistor won't work you understand what I'm trying to say so when you open a laptop battery first you need to check the cells if the cells are working check the section this section needs to get the voltage from all these cells because you see the cells they are connected in parallel which means that it needs to have the same 3.7 voltage but with a high ampere with a high capacity you understand so if you open a laptop battery then check you see that you try to separate both of the cells to see if they are working if both of them are working if you separate both of them are working then you change this transistor this MOSFET transistor right here I think you will be good to go if you change the MOSFET transistor that you are seeing then nothing works that means it can be the cause of this ISIS right here so that is just the simplest way that I use to repair most laptop batteries the MOSFET transistor right here so this section right here has a gate and this section right here is the source of the gate of this transistor is the source of the MOSFET transistor then this one acts as a source to this MOSFET transistor then act as a gate to this other MOSFET right here you understand what I'm trying to say 
so we have the input voltage right here which is the gate voltage to this transistor then it takes its source from this one then this one take its source from this one before it switch the second transistor so that's it